Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Neo Scavenger. It's been a little while since last I played. I thought I remembered there being a guy with a crowbar down here, but maybe I let him go. I don't really remember. This is me loading in from the last time I played. All right, well, now there appears to be two guys, one carrying what appears to be a stick and the other one carrying a rifle or a shotgun of some kind. So more than likely don't want to fight these guys. I do want to go in here, though, and check this area out as it might be pretty good place to scavenge. So that's what we're going to do. I am having problems with heat exhaustion. I do remember that. And I remember taking off some clothing items to try and help with that. And depending on how things are next turn, we might take off more stuff. I don't know where I'm going to put the stuff, but uh, if it comes down to that, we'll find room for the things and we'll figure it out. In any case, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Now, I don't think we're hiding. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out if I move over here and it takes all my action points. Okay, it seems like we're okay. Let's go ahead and scavenge. It's just going to be the shack in the forest. We'll confirm. And we're going to want to maximize what loot we're going to get here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lighter, which we are burning through the fuel up, but I can get replacement lighters at this point, so I'm not really that worried about it. All right, we did find some stuff. We found a t-shirt, which is just slightly worse condition than the one we took off. And we also found a rag shoe. So really, there wasn't anything here of much good to us. We do have a slightly better shiv than the one we have in our pocket. And I figure, what the heck, we'll go ahead and take the better shiv. Why not? It's good to have the shiv around. That way we can do some crafting, regardless of where we find ourselves. I can also remove the... Oh, I need to hold in... I use the shift key to start my recording sessions, which oftentimes engages it, so I have to remember to do that. We can have a couple shivs here. We'll leave the glass behind. I can always unravel the shiv if we need to do that for crafting's sake. All right, so I'm going to probably leave this t-shirt behind unless it's in... Oh, it is in better condition. Okay, we'll take this t-shirt off and we'll put the other one on. Okay. We are burdened as well. How are we doing as far as thirst? We could probably remove some of our burden by drinking a little bit. I mean, the spear itself is a bit of a burden. So, I don't remember which bottles uh, have sterilized water and which ones don't. It's possible we have entirely sterilized water. Again, it's been a little while since I've played, so I'm having to remember. Oop. Didn't quite mean to put that bottle where I did. All right. So yeah, it's all sterilized, I'm fairly certain. We do have some empty, uh, at least one empty bottle here. So we'll go ahead and drink this water up. One way to combat heat exhaustion is to be well hydrated. I don't know if that really works for this game. But hopefully it takes a little bit of weight off of us so we're not quite as burdened. Okay, looking good. I think we can move on. That is kind of a bummer what we scavenged there when we have such a high loot chance. Well, I don't want to have anything to do with this guy with the shotgun, so I think we start breaking contact. I think we're going to go up here. Right now, the idea is to try and scavenge things so that we can come back here and trade them. The more money we get, the more things I think we can do in town. We obviously do not want to encounter a guy with a gun. Whether or not that gun's loaded, I don't know, but I don't want to take the chance. So we're just going to go up this way. And we're going to end our turn. And of course, the key thing here is after I end my turn, we are much better off as far as our heat exhaustion, so that's fantastic. All we need to do is take off a shirt or two, and we're perfectly fine. We're going to have to keep an eye on that, though, to make sure we don't start getting cold at other times of the day. All right, let's go ahead and move up on top of the hill here. Okay, there's water to collect there if we want to. I don't feel like that's something that we necessarily need to do. Let's go up on top of this hill. Okay, we've got a scavengerable build building over here. I definitely would have wanted to encounter that guy with the crowbar, though, as there have been a number of locked storage sheds, and that's how you use a crowbar to get through that. Now, that would have been more of a burden for us to carry, though. So right now, the things that we need, we need a shopping cart or some other kind of vehicle to carry more stuff in. That's a high priority. And then outside of that, it's just finding things that we can go back to the main town and sell is really where we're at. Now, currently, 
Most of the items I have, I feel like, are key for my survival. So we will not be selling those. Now, technically speaking, I can use the multi-tool to, to craft as well. So technically, the shivs are really not necessary. Alright, so... I guess I'll go ahead and move up on top of this hill. Because we have one action point, we can kind of take advantage of things. Let's end our turn. Okay, there is a dude that just walked across here, but uh, he's he's long gone now, so we'll just ignore him for the time being. And I'm going to make it over to this building and we'll scavenge that up. It appears to be forest. Okay, you found a disused correctional facility. Heavy metal cell doors, bars, and utilitarian furniture still bolted to the floor. Doesn't take long to see that you aren't alone. One full block of cells is occupied. Guards lounging around, all wearing torn uh, leathers. Gangers. Met them before. They're meat market dealers. Deal mostly in slaves. All kinds. Breeders, workers, prostitutes. Sometimes the eaten kind. Always a big demand for those. Okay. Hmm. So, we have a couple choices here. We could just leave. We could try and steal a slave, it looks like. Free one, whatever way, way you wanted to discuss that. We can try and deal with these guys and see if we can buy a slave, apparently. Uh, this is something that I have no familiarity with, so I really don't... Currently selected good response. Currently selected response, good, 9.1. I'm not exactly sure what that means. <laughs> All right, so that might be the chance that we have to do it. A lot of plastic rubbish around might be able to snag the lighter and start a fire. The toxic fumes may take care of the lot. So that would kill everybody. So we could try and loot the place. If I try and deal with them, they may try and... They might try and turn me into a slave. If they are slavers. Because I am by myself. I think this is a risk regardless of which way we look at things. I think we're just going to leave. Slaves and slavers. Nothing nothing new here. Anyone released from the cells is bound to be in poor condition and unable to evade the guards. Shrugging your shoulders, you leave. But not before snagging your foot on a protruding bolt on the floor. Like the other ones holding down the prisoner decor. Man, that hurt. Hmm. Okay. Well. Apparently we lost our shoe. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, okay. So the shoe on our right foot. Let's take a look at ourselves medically. Doesn't seem like anything happened. So if we had been barefoot, that would have hurt a lot worse. All right. So it is our right foot that we're going to need to replace the shoe of. And I did leave a shoe behind that was for the right foot that we may want to go back and get. So it's good that I had a replacement pair of shoes. Okay. So that being the case, I can scavenge now. Okay, the guy with the stick is uh, has come around. Let's go ahead and scavenge here. We've got some action points. So we've got a storage shed. We've got a, a couple of abandoned apartments. I think we're going to go with that first. We're going to use the lighter. Try and increase the chance of loot. Okay, we have alerted people. All right, a lot of clothing items. Uh, the gray shirt is going to be, I think, crucial here. Uh, shirts, as opposed to t-shirts, just to show you quickly, is it's a long sleeve shirt, so it's going to be better in cooler temperatures. Now, what else we got here? We've got t-shirts. Most of them are in worse condition than what we currently have. Uh, we have a lighter, which is in better condition than the lighter than we currently have. I have space for the extra lighter, though, so we'll go ahead and slot that over there. And, as a matter of fact, I'll put that in this backpack, just so I know where it is. How's our meat doing? We're at 62%, so we could still... I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We also have another shiv on the ground. Not great condition, though, so we'll probably ignore that. The water we might as well pick up, so I'll go ahead and put that in my one of my empty bottles. 
Okay, looking good. Uh, I think we're good to go. Uh, I don't think I want to take any of these other things. All right, let's take a look at uh, scavenging one more time. So we'll go to the other abandon. And we'll continue to use the kind of beat-up lighter for now. All right, that was actually a good find, just the lighter itself. Okay, no useful items. All right, that's going to be it for the turn. Let's end our turn. See where this guy ends up. Okay, he just went away from us. We'll scavenge again. I think the special events, I think they're just one-time things, so you can either choose to do them or not. And if you choose not to do them, then you can just more or less move on. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go to the storage shed. And, of course, we're going to use the lighter here. Try and increase our chance to get some loot. And we don't, unfortunately, find anything. We've got one more scavenge action. Confirm. Use our lighter again. And, unfortunately, we didn't find much. All right, well... As I said, I might want to go back and get that shoe, uh, which was over here, I believe. So, it's going to be kind of a waste of time, but I think it's well worth it. And I may want to kill one of these guys over here while we're at it, maybe find something good on them. Okay, uh, we are at midday, so I have to consider camping as well. Okay, there is a dude here. So, I can't tell what he has. It looks like a meat cleaver. There was a meat cleaver I left behind, so that might just be the meat cleaver that was here. Let's go ahead and engage him. Uh, there's two of them. Uh, I didn't see the second guy. So, we're four away. I have no idea what the guy with the scope, with the rifle, I don't know if he has bullets or not. If he's going to attack me, he's going to attack me now. I might as well advance on him. This guy's actually in range. I could just try and talk to him and see if they will, are willing to do that, but if they're not willing to do that, he's going to shoot me, so... Let's close distance on the guy with the gun while we can, and then we'll try and go specifically after him. The other guy, all he has is... Uh, his, well, there's three guys here. Jeez. Okay, we do not want to fight these guys then, if we can get away with it. Oh yeah, there's four guys here. This is not looking good, so we're going to have to try and talk our way out of this, uh, if we can. Uh, alright. I only saw the one guy, so that was my bad. I was just trying to come back to get my shoe. Alright, we'll offer to talk, see if they'll, they'll do it. Okay, so what happened? The one guy is wielding a meat cleaver. The guy with the rifle must not have any bullets. Uh, so charge, advance... Charge, charge, and I tried to talk to him, and nothing happened, so we're going to get attacked here. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> For a second there, I was really nervous, thinking we were going to die. How's it going? He continues before you can answer. Look, I appreciate, appreciate you taking it easy on me and all. There's enough shit going on out here with all the fighting, so thanks, bro. His thanks seems pretty earnest. But I got something I need to take care of right now. I'll catch you later. And with that, he heads off purposefully. Oh my. I was actually thinking we were going to die there. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up the shoe. If it's still there. It is. Except it's a left shoe. Oh, okay. So there must have been some looting here. Uh, we want this crowbar, though. Uh, for sure. So... I know I can craft another... Oh, we've got another hide glove here. Well, that's going to be better than the one that we have. So, let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, what's going on here? Did I have more than one glove on? Huh, no wonder I was overheating. Okay. I didn't know that was something you could even do. Alright, that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, I didn't know that. I guess you can double up on gloves. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you, you see, you... No, you can't. I think we have two pairs of gloves before. Weird. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. The important bit is that we have now a, a better pair of gloves. Uh, the multi-tool is not as good in condition. We've got a can. Pair of jeans. Sack, which I may or may not have made. I don't remember. The important bit is the crowbar, though, so... I'm going to drop the spear purely because I know I can I can make another one of these. And I'm going to pick up the crowbar. 
Now, the idea that I have here is next turn, I'm going to craft a uh, strap for this, put it on my shoulder, then pick back up my spear. If the spear is still there, it could be looted next turn. I have no way of knowing that for sure. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn here because I have no choice. I'm really hoping we don't have an engagement here. Okay, so these guys are traveling together. We're going to have to remember, remember that for the future so we don't try and uh, fight them. Okay, so we do still have the spear here, so we'll be able to pick that back up. The important bit is the crowbar we have in our hand. This is mostly going to be used by me as a tool, so let's go ahead and make sure we get the one with the strap. So now we have a crowbar with a strap. We can put that on our shoulder. This will weigh us down. It's heavy. Let's go ahead and grab that, put that on our shoulder, and we'll pick up the spear and put that in our hand. Now, the main reason I'm still using the spear rather than the monkey wrench, even though I think the monkey wrench does more damage. First off, it's in good condition, but secondly, I did that because of the range that the spear gives us, which is quite an advantage. The wrench is not going to do that. I have to be really close to an enemy to be able to use it. All right, so that was still good to come back here. I'm going to assume what happened here is that there was a fight. And that big group killed this guy, and that was where the crowbar came from. So I saw a guy with a crowbar earlier. I'm going to assume that that was that guy. And apparently this guy was not willing to listen to reason. Oh, this is 80%. Um, there's some string in it. Uh, it's not anything I need, though. Yeah, none of the stuff here is something I'm going to want. Okay, so... The hunting arrow is also tempting to grab, but... I don't have a bow, and I don't have the capacity to be able to carry it anyway. Alright, well... I'm happy that we didn't get killed there. So, now we have a crowbar. We can go back and scavenge some of the areas that we couldn't scavenge before due to the whole lock storage sheds. So, I don't know where those were, though, to be honest with you. So, I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to make an assumption that it's over here. Now, I don't know that for sure, and we're going to have to end our turn anyway, and it is getting uh, probably close to evening, so I have to be prepared for that. Okay, so let's take a look at our scavenge choices. So we do have lock storage shed. Now we can actually do something with these as opposed to earlier when we could not. All right, let's go ahead and confirm that. And now we have the option to force our way past the lock with our crowbar, which is something we couldn't have done before. Okay, now that we're here, we can uh, keep an eye out for traps, which might be good. Or we could just use the lighter. What happens if I use the trapping skill, too? Uh, that doesn't modify it at all. Uh, the, the Just being able to see is just as good. What, what happens if we use that instead, though? So we would increase safety, but we would not get any better loot. So we want to increase our loot chances. So we're going to use the lighter, obviously. And it's just as safe uh, we're using the lighter. All right, let's go ahead and confirm that. Okay, it looks like we found some good items. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So a first aid kit that is empty. Uh, and it is in better shape than the one we have. I'll have to think about that. We've got a monkey wrench, but it's in terrible condition. We've got another lighter, which I am going to grab. Speaking of lighters, what happened to the other one I had? Oh, it's over there in my pocket. Okay. So now we have three lighters, so we're doing quite good there. There's a flashlight. It looks like it has batteries, so I'm going to redo my inventory a little bit. As that flashlight's going to be very useful. We'll be able to fit that in there. We've got a backpack full of items. The main one we're going to want is probably those pills. So we're going to empty this out. We do have some jelly bears, which I'll be eating. We have some bullets, which are going to be good just as a currency. We can sell those. So I'll pick the bullets up. Put them over there. They're worth 250, so that's well worth picking up. The, this pill bottle is empty. This one is not. We already have a, a pill bottle full of pain pills. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty this out. And we're going to grab the painkiller and we're going to put it in the appropriate bottle. Now we have three of those. We're going to take the 
first aid kit, put it back in our backpack here. We're gonna put that there. So it might be worth taking that first aid kit. I'm not exactly sure. This backpack's not in great condition. We have another saucepan, but it's not as good in uh, of condition as the one we have. There are some more bullets here. Uh, I'm going to just stick that in our first aid kit for now, uh, as I don't have anywhere else. Oh, no, I was about to say we don't have anywhere else to put that, and we have stuff right there in our backpack. All right, so uh, I'm going to eat the uh, jelly bears, or I could just take them with me. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I do. There we go. We've got our backpack full of jelly bears. How's our meat doing? 57%, so we can still... Wait on that. I'm going to drink some more water just so that we're not thirsty for later and also to get rid of the weight. Okay. All right. Well, I think this is a good point to go ahead and uh, put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.